But for the time being, let's move on. The big story of the moment on Times Now. It started with a thoughtless and condemnable comment about the prophet, but it blew up into a diplomatic crisis. Well, days after 11 Muslim-majority countries condemned the comments made by BJP spokespersons Nupur Sharma as well as Naveen Jindal, many were left wondering how did two comments on TV make such prominence and publicity far and wide? How did this issue get so amplified? And now here, it seems to be evidence to suggest that none of this was organic. Far from it, in fact. Two comments were taken, shared, propagated and pumped to build up an atmosphere where Islamic countries otherwise friendly with India would be compelled to issue a statement against it. And here's how. On Times Now, we're going to tell you just how across the globe the comments on the Prophet were used by anti-India forces. An Egyptian organization that is a front for the Muslim Brotherhood started a Twitter storm. 60 different tweets were drafted and put out and multiple times at that, always asking for a response from the Muslim majority countries to come out and condemn India. And we are putting it out exactly the number of tweets which have been put out and of course the hand that Pakistan too had played. Remember, Pakistan is part of the OIC as well. Well, all of these tweets were then coordinated to go out at 7.30 p.m. on 3rd of June. It was a coordinated strike. Well, the idea was to project India as an Islamophobic nation and urge the Islamic countries to boycott it. For this purpose, the hashtag was used and then they pushed it against the Prime Minister as well. So let me go across to Madhav. Madhav, the comments of Nupur and Naveen Jindal, of course, are condemnable as they should be and has been by our channel. But now what we managed to pull out is the coordinated social media strike, which was well orchestrated and not organic after that. That does appear to be the case uh, that, uh, you know, this kind of social media activity uh, that has its origins in different countries outside of India, you know, raises some very serious questions about whether there was an attempt at perpetrating a particular kind of narrative as far as this particular matter is concerned. Condemnable as the statements are, was there a deliberate attempt to try and foment some kind of uh, image as far as India is concerned certainly appears to be a pertinent question in light of these fresh revelations and these fresh social media posts because what is very clearly, uh, you know, something that very much within India, one can understand uh, political parties within India, activists within India raking up this issue. The fact that it was sought to be amplified, the fact that it was sought to be magnified by these social media posts, which eventually led to several countries raking up this entire issue, also raises some very, very serious questions. Of course, it is an issue that certainly the government and uh, the ruling party, all at the very highest levels, have taken cognizance of, have taken measures to ensure that these kind of situations do not arise again. But the fact is that uh, outside of the country. There are those who certainly would want to paint India at bad light. There are several vested interests and is this the handiwork of those vested interests certainly appears to be the question coming out of these posts. Meghna. Well, keep tracking the developments on that front. Thank you so much for Mother for breaking it down to us. It seems to be a well-orchestrated, coordinated strike by those with vested interests. Now, those are the words that the External Affairs Ministry had used when it said that the OIC was being misled by those with vested interests. In fact, India has been standing firm in the face of the anti-government campaign across the Gulf. In fact, just yesterday, uh, Union Minister Piyush Goyal says that all Indians living in Gulf countries are safe, they have absolutely nothing to worry about, and that the relationship of India with the Gulf nations remains to be good. I think uh, the Foreign Office has also come out with clear clarification on that, on the international demand. And uh, the Bhartiya Janta Party has taken the necessary action. I would urge you to look at the statement that the Foreign Office has taken out. But, Minister, I say that India will lead the world next year. We will lead the world, we will continue to lead the world. And with all these countries also, we have very good relations. And the relations will continue to be very good. There's a campaign going on the Gulf countries and etc. Boycott Indian products. Is this affect India? I, I have not heard of any such campaign. They have only mentioned that uh, such statements should not be made. And accordingly, the person who made it as action has been taken on that. All the Indians living in Gulf countries are safe and they do not have to worry. 
Well, the propaganda has been lapped up by the Gulf countries and who really is the hidden hand behind the vested interests? Well, remember, there are those within India itself who have come out and slashed out at the government. There are those like Asaduddin Owesi who have said 